I've been trying to connect the pieces and I've asked myself how the seven, eight, nine-year-old version of myself, who is just this insane tennis fanatic, has become uh, my reality. It's, uh, it's obvious, the things that, that tennis has given me. What's not obvious is how the legends of the game have shaped the way I view the world. 1989, the quarterfinals in the French Open, Michael Chang and Lendl. Michael Chang cramped in that match, ended up winning. That's when I knew I was going to win Roland Garros. I actually wrote pause for laughter. Um, so fast forward 12 years later, in 2001, I'm playing my first, uh, first main draw at Roland Garros, and I go up against Michael Chang. Fifth set, young kids cramping again, but it's me. And we're at the net, shaking hands, and he's giving me advice on how to overcome cramps. And, and Andre Agassi, uh, practice sessions when I was 17 years old, he has this unbelievable ability to put complex issues into very short sentences. Uh, I was complaining about the heat one time in Australia. He's like, well, you only got to be feel cooler than one guy. Uh, Jimmy Connors, I watched him at the US Open. The matches are still going on. It's like one in the morning. But I, I remember seeing the lights on, and I just couldn't believe what the stadium looked like. If it's that big, and you're flying over in a plane, I can't imagine what it's like being down there. Fast forward, we're making a run to the finals in the, the 06 US Open, and he's telling me to use the crowd. Let them be a part of it. The master of the US Open was trying his best to, to pass it down. It was a, it was a surreal moment. Uh, those are the moments that I've, I've just loved over the course of my career. The matches, the tournaments, those are all great, but getting to know your heroes is, uh, is another thing. I can't believe the level of tennis that I got to see in my career. The shots hit, the records that were broken, the records that continue to be broken. Thanks to Murray, Novak, Roger, and Rafa for playing the game at a higher level than it's ever been played. It sucked being in your vacuum a lot of times. I still consider myself lucky. I got to guard Jordan. I went the distance without Ali. I pitched to Babe Ruth. I feel like I know what it must have been like to watch Picasso. I saw it all. I won a couple times, not a lot, but a couple. I'm not the best of all time. I'm not gonna win Wimbledon. I'm not the best of my generation. I'm not the most well-behaved. I'm not the most polished. I'm also never gonna take this honor for granted. I may not be a lot of things, but from this day forward, I'll never be anything less than a Hall of Famer. I thank you from the deepest parts of my heart.